This is Desk Camper from GameInfluence.org, and I will be showcasing um a game between me and Turbo. Um, okay, here we go. I am dwarves in this game, and he is elves on the top. He starts racks tree. He built the barracks first, which is a bad move. Um, if you build the barracks before the tree, your tree gets a little bit less resource output, which puts you behind economically. Um, yeah, it's, it's either an accident or it just doesn't know about that, I don't know. And I started the normal Olive Warrior mine start for early creeping. Now I'm going to forward mine somewhere. Up there or down here. And he is starting Archer like a normal human would. Um, two archers. He's probably going to try to creep this one and then this one right away. For a lot of resources early game. Um, it gets you a very strong economy creep starting like that. It looks like I am going for the middle war first in this game. And my second mine will probably be about right here. Hmm. He did use Farsight somewhere. I'm not... I think he did use it on my base, so I know that he's elves here. And he knows that I'm dwarves. I'm making this a uh, guardian. Probably just I'm probably going to take it out here and go with my pike everywhere to just so he can't archer creep steal me as nearly as easily. Because archer creep steal against dwarves can really be um, help you a lot early game if you manage to do it. It doesn't happen a whole lot though. Okay, I'm probably going to send I deleted this mine. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it was, oh, looks like I accidentally deleted it. Well, I'm rebuilding now. Not sure where my other builder is. Um, there it is, built up here. Oh, I guess I just wanted to build this mine before that mine. That must be why I deleted it. Um, wait. Where did I take the Oh, I'm rushing with two guardians, it looks like. No, builder! Live! There, my builder dies. I should be creeping up here or something. I don't know. And there I am! Ah! Unfortunately, he has an archer coming over here that may creep steal. I do have a guardian out that can probably chase it away. Or something, I don't know. Here I'm sending the guardians at his base. Um, just going straight there. Oh, I am splitting them up now, so it'll be harder to defend against both of them. If we'll, um, his uh, units counter one of them, the other one might get away with destroying a couple buildings. And here his archers did uh, attack one, but now they can't attack the whole group together. Just one archer can't do much defending against two guardians, though, and that's why he's pulling these two archers back. He pretty much has to stop this guardian. And that's just chasing them away while my other guardian takes out some trees. I could have both of them against trees right now, which probably would be better. I could maybe take down more buildings that way. Yeah, whatever. Um, I'll hopefully still accomplish quite a bit. I do have more units coming into harass after they got this troll. It, I don't think he creep stole me here. Doesn't look like he did. Um, he has an archer here just for sight or just to guard this mine. I don't know why you would just guard a mine like that, but I guess he does. That's the way Turbo does things. Um, there I lose a guardian. I'll try to get this tree, probably won't. Might get close though. And I'll get this tree with my harassing units. He is expanding quite a bit with his creep money here. He's got creep money from all over the place and getting a lot of expansion very fast here. Um, hopefully he won't kill this builder. He already killed one. Okay, he doesn't. He's going to kill this mine. I should probably have battle wagons by now. I think the main reason I don't is because I lost a builder and had to and chose to replace it instead of making a forge works. I didn't want to sacrifice my um, expansion to build a forge. I guess. Um, 
I think what happened here was I took my units out to stop the warrior, and when I realized that I didn't have a chance, I put them back in. But one of the guardians didn't get all the way back in, so now I have a stray guardian running around that doesn't know what to do. Um, here I'm going after this creep, just trying to get my economy up. I'm losing right now, and I just want to get some resources. Okay, here I'm getting a forge to stop his warrior harassment. Hopefully that will stop him and save some of these mines that I that are so important right now because I don't have that great of an economy and he has all these trees around his base and down here and he's getting lots of creeps he's, he's continuing to creep so he'll just keep getting a stronger economy as the game goes on here I'll probably do, yep I, I stopped him from taking that mine Did pretty good job there um, leveling up the forge right away of course And I got this creep. That'll be good for my economy. Getting back into this game, he's already he's got quite the advantage here in terms of just resources. He was a, pretty late at getting the second barracks. He chose just to build tons and tons of trees instead, which was really pretty risky because I could, um, I should probably have lots of pikes and guardians still surrounding him. I pretty much stopped that er a little while ago and just went to defense. I should have like a little groups of a pike guardian maybe over here, two guardians coming over here. And I could take out some trees, just um, don't let him get so comfortable and sit back like he is. I'm making my first battle wagon. It's about time. Not sure why he's building a tree right there. Probably just for sight, I don't know. Um, because even though I am dwarves, um, I still send units down the center of the map quite frequently. Um, if you have a mine, say, here or here or something. But I didn't even use a mine at all for these guys. Probably just because I don't really have that many mines. I have mines up here, but I don't think he's got many trees over here I, because he knows I have mines up there. He saw them a long time ago. So he's going to expand in this area, and I don't have enough forward mines down there yet to really harass, which is probably a bad move, uh, bad by me. I maybe would have those if I had a, if he hadn't killed my builder so early, but losing that builder really set me back this game, it looks like. Um, there he's got the end, no peasants building yet, though. Peasants are very good against dwarves, help a lot with killing those strong mines. Um, just mix them in with their army and they help a lot. He's got Haldir up here. Um, oh, I would take out a Rax here and probably a couple trees, but he summoned Bombadil at just the right time. Looks like he got him at a very convenient time for him. And I don't have Hobbit Summon quite yet. Hobbit Summon could help a lot here. Maybe get another barracks, get a couple trees up here. Um, I could really harass him really good if I had Hobbit Summon right there. But now he's got enough units to stop me, and um, that attack pretty much failed and was a waste of a lot of units and a lot of money there. A lot of money to rebuild them. And I, and uh, they were leveled up, so they were very valuable too, which makes it all the more horrible that I lost them like that. Here I have a couple wagons, planning on just running out and harassing, because I know he has a lot of trees now. I just ran through his base, I saw all those trees, and I'm like... I'm thinking I need I need those wagons out harassing. I need to hurt that economy and don't let him build so many resources and get units and heroes the way he has been. Killed one tree here already. Probably kill a bunch more. He does have a pike back here. I'm not sure what Bombadil's doing. He should have like sent him towards my base just to annoy me or something. It's just one click. That would have taken, I don't know, just being a little lazy there. I'm going to take this tree, it looks like. Nope. Oh, uh, yep, I am. I'm continuing. Oh, I'm getting a bear, uh, an archery range. I got that a little bit late also. I got my forge late and my archery range late. Probably just because I haven't had the economy I would like to have. But axe throwers would have been needed, it would have been very great a couple minutes ago. Um, even now, they'll probably help a lot, quite a bit helping me get back into this game. Um, let's see here.
just spamming mines around my base right now. I, he's got too many units out, and I don't feel safe just expanding on the forwards and building forward mines right now. Which is not a good place to be with dwarves. You want to be aggressive. You want to be able to expand all over the place. This game, I haven't been able to do that so far. And I haven't been able to harass because I haven't had that expansion to um, help me out. Here, I'm killing a lot of units with my wagons, though. Battle wagons is pretty much my whole plan at this point. Just get battle wagons, get back into the game, annoy him, distract him so I can um, build some economy and lots of mines. And pretty much do all that with battle wagons. I have axe throwers to kill his pikes and now, which will probably help a lot in a couple minutes. Three battle wagons for uh, uh, together is... Um, very effective for harassment. They kill trees quickly and just annoying to get at for elves. Um, they can also defend very well. Lorian warriors and peasants are pretty much worthless once they have battle wagons. Uh, let's see, lost that. I'm okay. The reason I'm probably just sitting around with units in my mind right now is I'm just waiting for this um, army to get close and waiting for me to get enough units to defend against them. Ooh, I took them out by Haldir, which is a big mistake. I should have taken them out of this mine or something because Haldir could have splashed damage and killed quite a few of them there. I summoned Men of Dale there with my army, which was definitely a good move. He's got a strong army here, a lot of units that I needed to kill. I should have my, I should have at least one wagon coming through here though. Um, I'm not building one. I, I've got them all out harassing. I, I should have sent one in right away a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't. But I 